Hey everyone, what is going on? So we are focusing on Heracross in this video. Now, Heracross is an interesting Pokemon and it's actually not one of my favorites when it comes to this cup or in general. Uh, it's just, I, I don't know, it, it suffers from a few different things. One, it has one bar charge moves so they take a while to charge up. It's also double weak to flying and it's really frail so those body slams that Vigoroth spam are going to be able to do quite a bit of damage to it before it can get off a charge move. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I know Breloom suffers from being frail and being double weak to flying as well. You know, it can't take those body slams, but it has better charge moves, in my opinion. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. That's just my personal opinion. Some of you might have a different one, and if you do, definitely let me know. Uh, if you have success with Heracross, let me know as well. I've been watching quite a bit of content creators use Heracross, and, you know, they, they seem to like it, or they seem to have, you know, some people like it, some people don't, I guess. Uh, for me personally, not my favorite toy to play with, but that's okay, that's okay. I mean, I love Heracross, but I'm just saying in general, um, the Pokemon is definitely not my favorite. But, uh, you know, we still have quite a bit more practice time with it before the tournament next month or whatnot. So, uh, we'll see. Things could definitely change. You know, of course, it's going to do well against things that it's super effective against, right? Uh, so, if it's if you're going up against the Vigoroth, counters are going to be decent, uh, pretty good against it. So, uh, you know, if you go up against something else that it's super effective against, it's going to do well. But at the same time, uh, other Pokemon that are super effective against those as well, that was fighting, like those fighting moves and whatnot, are going to do well against the Pokemon they're weak to as well. So, I don't know, just a personal opinion of mine. But um, either way, we get off a Body Slam just in time to destroy that Raichu and take the win with Vigoroth. So, we do go ahead and win that one. But, um... Yeah, Heracross was fun to use though, you know, it was fun to use, um, as you can see my bag is filled so we're not getting any rewards. You know, I could have uh, threw out some items, but that's okay, I didn't really mind. But for this one we begin with a Lolan Graveler, and he does begin with his Ursaring. And uh, yeah, it's I guess he has counter on that Ursaring because it's doing quite a bit of damage, uh, unless if it's another fighting move, I don't know, maybe it's, I have no idea what Ursaring gets. I had no idea about Ursaring movesets, so I just uh, stayed in and, you know, we almost knock him out, but uh, I decided to bring in my Heracross, and I was like, I had no idea what moves it got, guys, so I decided, okay, I'll take this move, and it was a play rough, so I shouldn't have taken that move, but then again, I didn't know it had play rough, so, um, you know, can't blame me for that just because I didn't know. Uh, anyway, he does bring in his Beedrill, and yeah, it's not really looking good for us at this point in time. We do get off a Body Slam, and yeah, decent amount of damage to Beedrill, that's good, but he still has a shield. We have two shields, but I don't know, Vigoroth is a really solid Pokemon, but I don't know how it could come back from this one. Uh, we actually get off another Body Slam, and I think he blocks this one, yes he does, but do we have, no, we don't have time for another one, so we block it. And, um, yeah, we blocked that Aerial Ace, and we're going to be able to uh, get off another Body Slam, but he brings in a Lolan Golem, so we actually go for the Bulldoze, and Bulldoze is going to obviously be enough to knock out a Lolan Golem, but he brings in his Beedrill, and that's going to knock us out. Uh, so there's, it, there, there was nothing we could have done, you know, even if we knocked his Beedrill out with Body Slam, when his Lolan Golem came in, it would have still beaten us because we couldn't have gotten to a, a Bulldoze in time. But anyway, for this match, we do begin with a Lolan Gravel, and he begins with Electabuzz. So this is a pretty favorable matchup for us. In fact, it's a really good matchup. He switches into Heracross, and I switch into my own Heracross. And kind of like an even matchup. I am going to go ahead and block because I knew this was close combat coming, and close combat does deal out a lot of damage, so why not? Uh, I go ahead and go for my own close combat. I probably could have fainted it down with uh, counters, so maybe that was a waste of energy, but I was kind of nervous he would get to another close combat, but I don't think he would have been able to, so uh, it was probably a mistake on my end. But right now, we just go ahead and take this Thunder Punch, which will knock us out, of course, and we bring in Graveler which is going to do quite a bit of damage. We could take these electric moves because we resist them, so we'll take that Thunder Punch, and we'll be able to knock him out. I'm really liking the Lolan Graveler for this cup as well, by the way. 
but he brings in Jolteon, and I'm going to go ahead and use Rock Blast against that Jolteon, and he's going to go ahead and block it. Now, he still has two shields left, but we're able to take them both with this Rock Blast, or with two Rock Blasters, because we had a bunch of energy stored up thanks to that Electabuzz. Uh, I decided to go ahead and block this because I knew my fast moves would be able to do a lot of damage to him. I didn't think I'd actually get to another Rock Blast in time, but we actually do get to a, another Rock Blast and we do knock out Jolteon. So, uh, way to go Alolan uh, Gravel. I'm really liking this Pokemon. I really am. I really am. I really like it for this cup. Uh, you know, I'll probably make a video just on Alolan Graveler, but anyway... That's the game, so we do jump into another one, beginning with Alolan Raichu. And Alolan Raichu is another Pokemon I like uh, as well. It is weak to bug, so you do have to watch out, but I still think it's pretty good. So he switches into Vigoroth, we switch into Her Heracross, and I decide not to block. And this is where I realize that Body Slam just does a lot of damage to Heracross. Um, now, obviously, we're doing a lot of damage to him as well with counters. So Heracross is a good counter to Vigoroth, uh, but... You know, that's okay because uh, he's still able to spam those body slams. So it's either going to force shield or it's going to do a lot of damage to us. Getting off a of close combat. I knew he would block this as he does. And um, yeah, so he just knocks us out easily because we're double weak to flying. So go ahead and going to charge up a little bit more energy and deciding to bluff with that thunder punch. He doesn't fall for it, but that's okay. That is okay because it still did a good amount of damage. Uh, by the way, I still need a Noctel. I think it's better than Swallow, but I still need one. I just don't have one. So uh, hopefully we get one soon, right? But we do go ahead and knock out Noctel, and his final Pokemon is going to be that Heracross. And uh, we get to Wild Charge. I decide to go for Wild Charge because I'm, uh, I'm like, maybe he'll think it's a bluff and not block it. And I guess that's what happens. So we actually go ahead and knock out Heracross, so uh, that's a good, good, good for us. We'll take that win. We'll take that win, and um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into another battle in just a moment, which is going to be my Swellow against his Beedrill. So this is definitely a favorable matchup for us, and uh, he's gonna have to switch out immediately into that Vigoroth. We switch into Heracross, but. He already has a Body Slam ready to go. Oh, or Brick Break, excuse me. I guess he has Brick Break as well. Um, you know, I, I like I like Body Slam and Bulldoze on my Vigoroth, personally. I'm going to go ahead and block that Body Slam because I knew Counters would be able to finish Vigoroth off. So, Heracross doing well against that Vigoroth, of course. But uh, still, you can see that he's able to spam Body Slams and whatnot. But still, it is... it is. I mean, Heracross can definitely work. So, if you want to use it... Uh, if you want to play around with it, more power to you. You can definitely do that. But uh, that's just my, what I say, my opinion. But anyway, not able to get to that close combat, unfortunately. You know, we were clicking on it. We were trying, but not able to, to happen. So we do go ahead and block that B drill just because I know how devastating B drill's attack can be. And we're neutral to it. So he brings in Carnivine and Mike. I'm not going to switch this. So we actually go ahead and get off a Sky Attack right now. And he's going to go ahead and, of course, block that. But we have another Sky Attack ready to go. And uh, he's going to go ahead and block that one. So we do take both of his shields, which is good for us. But he does knock out Swellow. And we bring in our uh, our Cradilly. And at this point, I knew I knew his moves could knock, knock me out. So he uses Crunch. And we're just uh, tapping away until we get to Stone Edge, as we do. So we do go ahead, get to Stone Edge, and knock out... Uh, Carnivine, so we do go ahead and take that win. So that is good for us. Definitely good for us. Uh, so we have one more battle in this video. Uh, definitely keep the suggestions coming on what other Pokemon you want to use. I know Munchlax and Snorlax were really up there. So I do plan on using them as well. I actually got a lucky Munchlax. Uh, so I'm excited to, to use those. But anyway, we begin with Beedrill. We have to switch out ASAP. Uh, he be he switches into Fortress, which, uh, okay, I'll take it. We get off Bulldoze, and he's going to go ahead and block that. I was hoping he thought it was Body Slam, but I guess not. Uh, but he decides to go ahead and go for, as he go for Rock Tomb, but we're going to go ahead and block that just to keep Vigoroth as healthy as possible. Now, I knew that Noctel was going to give me some trouble because I had two things that were weak to it, so... Beedrill and Heracross, so it's like, yeah, not really a good team composition for me in this battle, but uh, that's okay. He does bring in his own Vigoroth, and we get off a Body Slam. 
Uh, let's just see if he's going to take it or not, and he decides to block it, so we do take a shield there, so I guess that's good. But now I'm like, yeah, I have Beedrill and Heracross, so it's like we'll be able to handle Vigoroth more than likely, but I don't know what we're going to be able to do against Noctowl, as you can see right now. <laughs> uh, because I, I, I switched into Beedrill, I, I don't think it mattered. I mean, I took the Sky Attack just because I knew it was over at that point. Uh, you know, I had a shield, but it didn't matter. I was going to lose. So we do go ahead and lose that game, of course, to Noctowl. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. See you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, click on one of the links to check out another one of my videos that you'll probably enjoy.